Hi everybody, welcome back to the Suburban Garage Workshop. It's been a while. I took a little time off, went on vacation, and now I'm back. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on. If you remember from a previous video, I built this little dust collector that works with drill presses or handheld drills or anything. And I'll put a link to that original video down, down below. But I've taken this wood prototype and turned it into a product that I could sell. So uh, let me show you what it does if you haven't seen the previous video. And I'm going to talk about how I'm going to start selling these. So let's get at it. If I drill a hole with my drill press with a Forstner bit, you can see it throws out chips and dust in pretty much a 360 degree pattern. And that's the problem with dust collection on a drill press or any kind of drill. It throws it out in a kind of a 360 degree pattern and it's hard to basically um, extract. So even here when I'm using the hose near it, it's really only extracting the dust from one side, but it's still able to throw chips out the other side. Um, even with a big dust collector, I see the same results. Now if we switch over to using the uh, power drill shield, I can slide open the back glass, put it around the quill, and close it. So now it's fully enclosed on four sides. And then what I'm going to do is optionally you can come in here and clamp it in place so it's, it doesn't move. And then I'm just going to stick the same hose into the side of the power drill shield and do my drilling operation. So now what you see is that the all the chips and dust are encapsulated within that little container and are sucked out. The air goes in through by the quill and out the side into the dust hose. So here if I uh, slide the glass, move it back, you'll see if you look in here, there's virtually no dust or chips and nor did it throw dust and chips all over my workbench and floor. So here's a close up of showing that drilling operation. And one of the things I've realized is that airflow coming in from the top over the quill and sucking out the side, it actually keeps the bit cooler. It, I didn't think it would happen, but it actually does because it's moving so much air over that bit. It also helps to clear the dust and chips from the actual bit itself. So that makes the drilling operation even cooler. One of the other unique things about the power drill shield is it can be used with handheld drills. So I can go over here and drill right on my workbench with it. And here it's doing the same thing. It's sucking up all that fine dust and chips. And therefore it's not throwing it all over my workbench, which is keeping things much cleaner. It can even be used on vertical surfaces. So if I clamp it to a wall or to the side of a cabinet, um, I can use it to uh, extract that dust. So this dust isn't being thrown all over my floor. So it's kind of pretty flexible. There's multiple clamping options provided for the power drill shield. So I can use these little feet that stick out here in the front, and I can use that to clamp things down to a surface. If I'm working on against a fence, for example, well, then I have a couple other options. So in this case, with this fence, I can use one of these bar style clamps, and I can clamp it to here, or I can use one of these squeeze clamps and clamp it on the wing over here. So it's got different kinds of options. So now that I got the first batch of these done, I'm gonna start selling these on my Etsy store. So I'm gonna post a link down in the description to my Etsy store. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these, check out my Etsy store. Now I can only build about one of these a day. My 3D, I've got a single 3D printer. It's not very fast. So it takes almost a full day to print one of these. So my production uh, output is about one a day. So you figure I can make about five to seven of these a week. So I'm gonna post these out on Etsy's and batches. So if you see it for sale on Etsy, that's a batch that's currently available. And this way I don't get uh, you know, my worst fear is I get a bunch of orders, which is great for success, but then I can't deliver on those orders and people get upset. So I'm gonna post these, I'm gonna make a batch and then post that batch on Etsy for sale. And then while that's selling off, I'll make another batch. So if it's on Etsy and it's for sale, that means I've got it made and ready to ship to you. Um, check out the Etsy store, it'll have all the details on how much these cost. And uh, hopefully I can actually find a producer or a company or a distributor or partner that wants to make these for me and distribute them. And we, you know, come to an agreement. Um, because I really don't want to build these um, all day long, and uh, nor do I want to ship them all day long. But if I could find a partner that wants to, uh, you know, produce these for me and ship them, and we come to an agreement, then that's my end game. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you want to, if you want to pick up one of these uh, power drill shields, check out my Etsy store in the link below, and uh, and I uh, thank you in advance. All right. Anyway, get out in the garage and build something, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks.